This morning, there was a missile strike at Saudi Arabia's largest oil export terminal at Ras Tanura. The Houthi rebels from Yemen have claimed responsibility for the attacks, but it's been confirmed that there was no physical damage and there are no injuries. But it does show, of course, that oil infrastructure is always a target and there's always a possibility for future attacks. In fact, you'll remember in 2019, damage was actually caused by missile strikes. So it's definitely possible that it could happen again. Now, the ministry has said, such acts of sabotage not only target the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but also the security and stability of energy supplies to the world, and therefore the global economy. So as you probably expect, this caused another jump in oil prices, although as you can see on the chart here, this is the daily chart for WTI, prices have reversed a little bit since then, and they're now at Friday's closing price there. Now, prices were obviously already on the rise following last month's OPEC Plus meeting. They decided to extend production cuts this month. We were actually expecting that there would be some sort of reduction in the cuts already due to the tightening supply and demand balance, but the outcome of the meeting really ended with the best case scenario for oil prices, so very bullish. At the end of the day, I mean, the pandemic is still ongoing, so it's wise not to rush back to full production too soon, but I must admit, it's not what I thought was going to happen. I thought they'd taper off already. So the only exceptions to production cuts came from Russia and Kazakhstan to account for seasonal consumption changes, but this is only a relatively small amount anyway, and that's more than offset by the Saudis extending their voluntary cuts of 1 million barrels a day through March, which they'd already hinted towards. And there's also some maintenance work due to happen in Canada, which will take a further 500,000 barrels a day off the market. So as supply is due to remain tight for another month, the price of oil has shot up as you can see and has been showing real bullish momentum for now. So at this point, it wouldn't be a surprise if the price did continue to push up, um, even though, as you can see here, it is around one of our key levels, but risks do still remain, especially as we can expect production increases will be coming at some point. But having said that, this isn't the type of market that you particularly want to be shorting against. So at least for me, I'll be on the sidelines for now maybe waiting until we get close to that OPEC meeting, or if bullish momentum can run out and we start to get more structure, I might be lured back in. So those production increases are likely to be on the cards at next month's meeting, but if OPEC Plus doesn't capitalize on the world economy opening back up and oil prices rising, then shale producers in North America may take that spot instead. In fact, in the other big event from last week for the oil industry, Sierra Week, IHS Market, which was hosting the event, said that they see North American production ramping up when WTI hits $70 to $75 a barrel, which is not far off to be fair, because at those prices there's a decent return and a potential for strong growth. Although they did say that capital discipline is likely to remain and ramping up will probably be less rapid than it has been in the past. In any case, for me now, I think I'll be on the sidelines. I had one short trade that only lasted for one day and was decent profit, but no big moves um, that I've managed to catch. How about you? Let me know in the comments. Have you been trading oil? Will you be trading oil? I saw some comments before from people saying they were long oil companies. So let me know how you're getting on there and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.